Okay, welcome to another 1967 Spud production. Um, today I'm going to try and answer a question which I've seen on one of the forums of um, how to find out what the capacity of your case is, how much powder your case will hold. Um, what we've got here is some filed cases with the, the primer still in. You can do this with new brass or in this instance I'm using fired brass, it makes no difference. Um, why we need to do this is if um, you've got a certain calibre and uh, you want to find out what the volumetric measurement is for that case. What that means is how much uh, in weight in uh, H2O for um, this case would hold or water. Where you would use this information is things, programs like Quick Load, um, where that last year the uh, measurement for the H2O capacity so it can work out the internal size of your case for working out volumes for um, how much powder that will hold and for working out the pressure signs okay so basically what I've got is a piece of paper pen which I will not let dry out I've got a set of decent digital scales which you'll see I've got a sy syringe and a, um, a cup of water a simple water and five cases you can do it with ten cases but I'm doing it with five just for speed. So what I'm going to do, measuring one, two, three, four, five. All right, five cases. One, two, three, four, five. What I'm now going to do is measure, weigh each one on a set of zeroed scales. Just go through this quickly. Right, just zero them. Just waiting for it to come back. 177.46. Hundred and seventy-seven five six. Hundred and seventy-seven fourteen. These are all grains. Hundred and seventy-seven ninety-six. Lastly, hundred and seventy-seven point two eight. Right, so that's before, I'll write on my piece of paper, that's before we put the water in, okay? So you can see that. Alright, it's case one, two, three, four, five. Right, now what we do using the pipette, okay, now what we need to do is fill each case up with water, not spilling it down the side because we want the water to give the measurement on the inside. So just carefully fill it up. all the way up okay if you get a little bit dribble out what you'll have to get is a tissue and dry the outside and just make sure it's all full up but moving on I'll just move through these quickly okay I will go through each one of these and just dry the outside with the tissue because obviously that will add weight to it and we'll get false readings. Okay. I want it so it's flat at the top. In these cases I'm using a 243 so I use about 7 or 8 mils of water. Okay, right, I'll get a tissue. Right, I've got some Andrex here. So what I'll do is I'll take each one out, just dab it off on the outside so it's nice and dry, put it back on the scale, and take the measurement. Right, so we've got the first one 177. So you can see there's uh, roughly 58 in there. So that'll be set. We'll put a line, then put 23242. Two, Okay, we can move that one up there. We know that we don't need that anymore now. Try them. Make sure they're full and dry on the outside. Two, three, three, six, four.
Drop my tissue. Two to go. Just zero that scale because I don't believe that. If you get a light one like this, just that was about 190. I'll just tap it. Make sure you ain't got an air bubble in it, like we have. Okay, so you can see one if they. Whoops. Put that back in there. We had an air air void in there. This is why you can't rely on just one. You need to do five or ten, and then take the average. But we'll get onto that in a minute. Right, that's full. Put my finger on the top to get it flat. Get the tissue. When you do it, just take a little bit more care. I'm just trying to get through it, otherwise it drags on. There we are. Two, three, four, two, six. And lastly, the last one. This is one of the preparations you can use when you get virgin brass for uh, part of the uh, case prep. Two, three, three, point four, eight. Right. That's then five done. We no longer need them. Now what the object is, we'll do, oh, there's some maths, so you've got to start thinking now. Let me just move this camera. Right, we're going to take the figures for case number one. So the full weight was 232.42, and that's with H2, okay? The empty weight was 177.46. Empty. All right. Now to find out the volume in grains, H2O will measure the same as volume. We measure the full weight. We take the empty weight away from the top weight. Okay. So if my maths is right, fifty point oh four grains. I'm sure somebody will show if my math is wrong. Let me just uh, grab something. That's uh, in a good way. Luckily, I've got an iPhone. <laughs> 54.96. The math doesn't seem to be my strongest subject. Anyway, that's not the point. So what I'll do is I'll work that same sum, that same equation, the H2O full case less the empty case, giving me that um, figure 54.96 grains and that will be the figure that you need for quick load I'll what I'll do is I'll do it five times for the five cases I'll take the five numbers and find out the average obviously you add five up and divide it by five and that'll give you the average spread over all the cases so that is how we find out the volume um, of a case using the H2O method okay thank you very much and I'll speak to you later